Okay, uh, I was going to continue with some more programming on morphs, and I realized I hadn't clearly covered how to work with references to morphs that you created on screen. It's pretty straightforward for a simple morph. You go here and you make sure in the workspace, clicking on this little extra button, that you've got create textual reference to dropped morphs um, checked. What's syntax I like to? All right. And then you can create a new morph, say a, um, oh, I don't know. Curve morph. That's a fun one. There's a curve morph. We can drop it in. And in fact, we got a reference. Notice that since I hadn't dropped it on the desktop first, it disappeared. But we could do something like open in world to make it appear on the screen. See, there it is. And in fact, we can see just from what I did that this has a reference in that object. If we inspected this and then inspected that, we would get window inspector windows opening to the same object. There's a problem though. When we open a complicated morph in a window, it doesn't allow us to drop it onto the workspace and get a reference. If we embedded it, it still wouldn't put a reference in there. So what to do? Well, let's inspect this browser, and we find the top variable itself. And notice it's a reference to pluggable system window 2492. We could actually go through and search for pluggable window 2492 and create a, a variable that would refer to that by doing a, a loop through all the pluggable system windows, etc. But there's an easier way. We can simply grab a tile for this value. Notice I went up here, right-clicked on self, and found that menu. And it creates a little um, tile, they call it, with the name, and it's glued to the cursor. So now we have a morph, and we can drop it in. And there you see, we get a reference, which hopefully contains a tile morph. Well, what's in that tile morph? If we inspect it, we see a bunch of stuff. And halfway down, we see actual object. Sure enough, we get a pluggable systems window reference. So if we go tile morph, actual object, we now get returned a reference to that object. So now we can, by a roundabout method, browser colon equals and now we have in the my browser variable a reference to that object it's a little complicated I personally think there should be a, a faster way to do it but at least now we know how and now we can work directly with windows that we have created on the screen simply by opening them with uh, one of the graphical interface methods.